to be a blessing to the people of God, to try not to cause any habit for my pastor. He doesn't show it, but anybody in leadership understands that. There's so many components that comes at you time after time after time. We in the Christian Education Department tried to make that department one of the pastor didn't have to worry about. So we did things that we believed God was leading us to do and that pastor would be okay with. We never tried to go too far to the left or the right, but tried to represent him. So as we walked in a Sunday morning, my job is to let you know that Jesus was in me and that Jesus is love. And I tried to show love to each and every one of you each and every time that I met you. Leaving David Grace is not leaving the church for me. This is home. This is where my family is. This is where I want to be. When I was here last Sunday, somebody said, what are you doing? And I'll just take all of this in. And then many of you came to me and told me stories of how I touched your lives. It's those stories that I would take with me and my wife as we go into a place that I have no idea what God is sending me to. But I do know the voice of God. And I do know that it's time for me to go and time for me to do something different. I pray that you pray for us, that the will of God will encompass us, and that he will continue to use us just to be a blessing to the people of God. Never came up here trying to showcase myself. Never came up here trying to be pastor, the bishop because the bishop is the bishop, and I work for the bishop. And I want to make sure that each and every time that I stood before you, that the light would not shine on me, but it would shine on the Christ that was in me. And my joy came when I walked around to the different classes, and I looked in your faces, and I saw the glisten in your eyes as your teacher spoke the words of God. That just made my whole day because it gave purpose to what we are doing here from 9.30 to 10.45. I love you all with the love of God. I wish I had the words to express it. Uh, it's just not enough adjectives to express your faces, the words that you say to me the hearts that you give to me, the encouragement that you lay before me. My teachers, as I look at you each Wednesday night, and I saw your hunger and your commitment to God, and to learn as much as you could to prepare yourselves for Sunday morning as you approach the people of God, you gave medicine to my spirit and to my bones. My body is not the way it used to be. The way that Bishop explained when we used to beat up everybody in volleyball. The way that Brother Green explained when we used to dominate the basketball court. Time brings on the change. So I had to get new hobbies, and my new hobby was to be the very best that I could for you, <laughs> that you could be the very best for the people of God on Sunday morning. I thank you. I pray. And last but not least, my queen, come here, sweetheart. There are times when I doubt whether God is with me. I doubt whether he's going to ever answer my prayers. But when this girl walks into the room, Amen. I know God 